landed on that shit? They weren't. I'm a beast. <laughs> I landed on that shit. Hey, go inside, I landed go inside, on that go inside. shit. I landed, on, yo, I landed on the defense. That was sexy. You got some nice shit, man. That was insane, man. I got one of them. I got one of them. Yeah, they cut me off. Oh, yeah. He's lagging too. Let's go over, let's go over. Run away, dude. Yeah.
Bullshitting. Bullshitting door. Got me behind this one. Yeah, you don't need to. up guys this is my DPS final measure build uh, we're gonna go through the weapons first and then we're gonna go into the gear and the gear mods and the rest of the set with talents I'm running and uh, what skills am I running so first weapon is be a lightweight M4 with deadly unforgiven and confident uh, saying at 20.4k base damage uh, maxed out score 286 um, <coughs> Mods will be running a uh, <coughs> large suppressor muzzle, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, stability, pro red dot sight, critical hit damage, headshot damage, 3% crit chance, small grip, critical hit damage, reload speed, stability, extended mag, 109 magazine size, 2% crit chance, 510 rate of fire. Um, <coughs> I have stability on my muzzle and on my grip. For the beams, it helps out with beaming and hitting people from far away. <clears throat> for the house, we have uh, Unforgiven and Deadly. Um, everything crit damage all the way. Crit damage on the muzzle, crit damage on the, uh, on the sight, on the barrel, and magazine. 19% critical damage, 2% headshot damage, and 3% crit chance. The sight. Is uh 18% critical hit damage, 2% headshot damage, 2% critical hit chance, small grip critical hit damage, reload speed and accuracy, extended mag, uh 560 rate of fire, 2% crit chance, 112 magazine size. Um, this better obviously you know <coughs> people have like uh like optimal range on their grip and stuff, but I like accuracy. I wish I had optimal range. I haven't got a under barrel optimal range for the house. 
a double barrel, competent, predatory, determined, smack somebody in the floor, predatory, get that determined, fucked. I always tell you about that. <clears throat> Sometimes you can use, like, uh, I don't know, something like this, like, but it's better to have predatory and determined as your uh, sidearm. You know, get both of those proc is perfect. Um, the only thing that'll be better is instead of having competent predatory and determined, you have sustained or sub preserve. Back the weapon. For the abilities, I have a booster shot and immune box. Um, majority of the time, I'm running a recovery link for my team. Uh, <clears throat> we have uh, my talents, critical and safe, combat medic, strike back, and on the move. Um, I run this, this is perfect for team settings. Um, get the critical save to help you out, plus get some resistance when you pop a med kit. Strike back when you're low, 20% for the cooldowns, and uh, combat medic. So when you pop medic, you also healing your teams and uh, on the move. Of course, when you kill somebody, you get some resistance, reduce income and damage. Yo. Yeah. Getting into the gear, I have my chest piece with the firearms, major attribute, skill, haste, and health, uh, ammo capacity. Definitely ammo capacity in this build. You don't have like infinite ammo unless you run it with like a reclaimer. Um, mods have two uh, stamina mods, row 267, critical hit chance. There's critical hit chance all over this, all over the build though, guys. 100%, this, this is like all crit chance, straight DPS, no scale haste. Only scale haste is on my chest. Um, also, run the firearms is my mass and critical hit chance. You could change them to elites if you guys have that, you know, you could roll that. They have like burn resistance. I think burn resistance is better than damage to elites for the mass. Knee pads have health, disorient, bleed, shock. Um, I wish I had burn resistance instead of disorient resistance. But the knee pads also roll the stamina. And we have the uh, maxed out 267 critical chance. My first year self heal for the performance mod. Book bag roll to crit damage. This build is not fully optimized. Once I get it fully optimized, it's gonna hit a whole lot harder. But as you can see in the clips, it's really hitting hard. Um, also, with the stamina and uh, we got burn resistance. Same thing. Stamina mod 267, two first aid self heal mods with the performance mods. Gloves, like I said, it's a beam build. So we are running with firearms and critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and assault rifle damage. This is not really a house build. You know, a lot of people are still house reliant. I'm mostly running on M4. I only have the house in my back so when someone gets close. Holster, max out across the board, 1401. Wrote the critical hit chance on the major attribute. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the build. Um, if you guys don't know what the six piece does for a final measure, this is what it does right here. When a grenade is diffused, the player and all group members within 30 meters gain above based on the grenade type that was diffused. EMP shock. Skill power increased by 40% for 8 seconds. Frag incendiary grenade. Weapon damage increased by 40% for 8 seconds. Flashbang tear gas armor increased by 40% for 8 seconds. Um, I don't have any clips of it, but I know with the flashbang tear gas, my armor goes to my something goes pretty much to 1 million, and then um, my DPS jumps about 600. Thousand with an M4, as you can see, watch you see in like in the clips. I'm hitting, I go from like 23k to 30, 30k plus sometimes. With you know, someone majority of some people are throwing frag grenades, so this is like perfect. You know, you could like I said, you run uh, two healers, uh, this as a DPS and someone else's DPS, or you have like a shield build to give your team you know, the stamina buff and have a healer, and then you got two DPSs. But yeah, this build pretty much uh, <coughs> this build cooks. And uh, here are the stats. I have a uh, 51% critical chance and 121 critical damage on my house. Uh, 9% skill haste that's on my chest piece. Um, max health 344, but like I said, um, this is not fully maxed out, fully optimized, you know, mid max. You know, I'm supposed to be sitting at 33 armor, get armor mitigation, but I'm not. For my M4, set at 28% critical hit chance and 100% critical hit damage. But uh, yeah, you know, yeah, you got that uh, deadly unforgiving component. You know, pop a booster shot. 
as it's pretty much decent. You know, saying that 24.9k. You know, someone's running a post, and then I also get, you know, I pick up a frag grenade from the final measure. I jump to like 30k grits. So, like I said this build cooks. Um, it's not fully optimized. Once I get fully optimized, I might make another build video, but I think this is like the best. Like when it comes to like taking over a server, this is definitely the build that you want to be running. Um, it helps your team out a lot because you know a lot of people like to spam grenades nowadays, and you don't really get hurt by bleed. You know, see me a couple times I facing somebody with pred, and the pred is not really doing much damage because of the EDR that comes already on the build. I don't have anything wrote to EDR on this build. It's just whatever is on the pieces. You know, twenty five percent here and fifteen percent there. So the EDR, <clears throat> I'm saying that forty percent. So. The only bleed resistance I have is on my knee pads. I wish I had uh, bleed resistance on my back as well, but that's it. That's like the only bleed resistance I have in this build, and I still get the tank because of that the EDR. And like, you know, I said with the toughness and everything. But yeah, guys, that's the build. Um, I might have more clips after this. So yeah, enjoy.